Daniel LaBelle. Welcome back to the Fourth Revolution, where I discuss stocks for your portfolio of the future. Today, Masters Week is kicking off. This four-day go- iconic golf tournament um, has everybody's eyes and ears peeled onto their favorite golfers. And I think the sport has really taken off since COVID. Obviously, there wasn't a lot of outdoor activities that people could uh, participate in. And golf was one of the few social distancing and still social activities that um, that people, you know, were able to uh, were able to go out and play. And people were hitting the links more than ever during COVID. And I think that uh, one of these companies, Top Golf, has been a big driver of this industry that has been seen as mature to declining as baby boomers move off the links, move out of the course, and now it's on millennials and Gen Zs to put the growth back into this uh, this mature industry. And I think Top Golf is a perfect uh, company to do so, with more than 50% of its patrons being non-golfers. And it's because it makes it fun for golfers and non-golfers alike. You know, I'm I'm a golfer myself, and I play with my, my, my sister who's golfed maybe three times in her life, and she's still putting up similar points because, you know, it's not exactly about um, how good you are at golf. I mean, obviously, accuracy helps. But it makes it fun for beginners. You know, it's a very frustrating sport when you get off the ground with it. No one is good when they first start playing golf. But Top Golf is making it fun for these beginner golfers, and I think it's uh, it's a big growth opportunity, um, especially with their merger with Callaway, uh, a company that has kind of seen a flat line, top line. Uh, for you know the last few years, this is uh, really flipping the switch on growth for this company, and I think there's a big opportunity in the stock today. So let's take a look at the charts and, uh, and see where we're trading at. Callaway has just exploded since its COVID lows, um, trading up to 415 percent, and a lot of this has to do with people not expecting golf to be one of the big. Uh, beneficiaries of the pandemic and you know obviously golf was uh, was one of the few outdoor activities that you could do socially and still maintain that you know five foot six foot social distancing and um, you know Callaway has been a big beneficiary of that as well as this merger with Top Golf, which is getting Millennials and Gen Z's excited about golf again um, the company you know, announced their merger here and you know you could have almost doubled your money just from buying of that merger, uh, that merger discount that we saw, the stocks seen a sizable upside since then. I think we still have a sizable upside to go. We've traded kind of sideways since the beginning of the year, and I'm looking at price targets ranging from the mid 30s to 50 dollars a share. Um, and I think you know, Top Golf is is driving Callaway into a growth <clears throat> positioning. It used to be a mature company with you know not a lot of prospects ahead but with top golf in their uh, in their playbook now i think the company is uh, is poised to to explode in the roaring 20s and i think millennials and gen z's are like i said beginning to get excited about this mature sport as the boomers roll off the off the balance sheets of uh, you know of, of the revenue drivers for these companies so i am uh, i'm excited about this company and you should be too as this masters golf tournament kicks off people are going to be going to top golf people are going to be buying new golf equipment um and callaway is going to be a big beneficiary of this so i've donned the masters hat in honor of this iconic golf tournament and don't forget to tune in guys it's going to be an exciting four days of golf um as you know your favorite players kick off obviously tiger woods is not going to be in it with uh with him probably still in the hospital after uh, this bizarre car injury a few months back. Um, but, you know, there's still some great players out there. My bet's on Brooks Kepka, uh, if anybody was interested. But there's, you know, there's a couple other uh, golf stocks that you might want to keep your eye on. Uh, Akushnitz, sorry, I cannot pronounce that for the life of me. Uh, the ticker is G-O-L-F, and it is Titleist and FootJoy and a couple of other apparel brands for golf. Um, and you can also look at Dick Sporting Goods. They are not a pure play golf company, but they obviously hold golf merchandise. Um, 
and you know, but my my favorite pick right now is Callaway with this new merger with Top Golf. I think the ticker ELY. I think this stock has the most upside potential, and the company is positioned to explode in the Roaring Twenties as more and more people hit the links. Uh, so don't forget to check out our latest promotion at uh, zax.com/promo. It is Zax Technology Innovators. We can capitalize on emerging trends for long-term profits. So thanks for watching, guys, and I look forward to speaking to you guys next time.